YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Pokemon TCG Crown Zenith tin. This specific tin features Galarian Articuno. Now this tin, I'm opening up second out of the three tins. I've previously opened up the Galarian Moltres one. That is probably my favorite of the three just because it is such a vibrant looking promo card. This card, very beautiful and just stunning artwork wise. So this tin I did purchase from the Pokemon Center online for $24.99. This set of tins, the official release date, March 17th, 2023. On the back of the tin, you can see the contents that you get on the inside. One full art promo of the legendary burrs, in this case, like I mentioned, the Articuno. Five booster packs of Crown Zenith, and then a code card for the TCG Live. So I'll get the tin opened up. I will take a look at the price guide on TCG Player, just to give you an idea of what the value is for cards in this set this product is one of my favorite released for crown zenith of course crown zenith being a special expansion you can only get crown zenith through products like this released from january through june of 2023 different products so you're going to be able to go to the store really at any time and find crown zenith products and i would assume i could be wrong with the printer change for the Scarlet and Violet series of sets, but normally the Elite Trainer boxes are what's going to be printed the longest in stores. Maybe some of the early V boxes like the Reggie Drago and the Reggie Lackey boxes. So, should probably get the camera angle changed a little bit here. There we go. There would be the five booster packs. Same exact artwork on the booster packs. The mascot Pokemon for Sword and Shield. Zamazenta and Zashian. Here would be the Galarian Articuno. It is a glossy promo card, SWSH 282. Now, I didn't mention it in the first tin opening that I did of these tins, but Walmart is going to be having a very similar tin exclusive to their store. They should have a big display of tins, probably back in the toy section. You'll find those. I think those are going to be hitting store shelves at the end of March, similar to when Scarlet and Violet are going to be released. So I'll open up one pack, then I'll jump over to the TCG player price guide. You know what? Let's just take a look at the price guide now. I'm just interested in seeing what some of the most valuable cards would be. Of course, the Galarian Gallery subset. There are 230 total cards in the entire Crown Zenith expansion. I believe 160 in the main part. 70 in the Galarian Gallery subset. There are some V-Star gold cards, the Giratina being the most valuable at $136. Really like the Mewtwo V-Star, Arceus, and then the Origin Forms of Polkia and Yelga. So many beautiful looking cards to collect from the Galarian Gallery subset. I haven't had a lot of luck with that subset pulling some of the V-Star or the V. Maybe this video will change my luck. As far as the base part of the set goes, the Elisa Sparkle, the Full Art, the most valuable card at $30. The Pikachu is a card that I would love to pull. I have not pulled it from a pack. Even haven't pulled something as simple as the Charizard V-Star. Okay, let's get to opening the booster packs now. Crown Zenith is one of my favorite newly released sets. So much fun having multiple chances in a pack to pull something good. There are Radiant Pokemon in this set as well. Charizard, Chargebug, and Eternatus. I've actually had some luck pulling the Charizard, which I can't say about too many Charizard cards out there, pulling it multiple times. Rockruff starts the first pack of the five. Seal, Pawniard, Corphish, Shinx, Water-type Energy, Great Ball, Soul Rock, Trekking Shoes, Reverse Hall of a Seal, a Common, and the final cards card would be a Gumshoes. Now, one thing I do like about these special expansions, usually they are a conglomeration of different sets. In this case, you have a lot of good competitive trainers that are fairly easy to pull from packs, and it does make it pretty cheap to buy the cards individually. I know when I first started getting into the 
TCG Competitive Leave. It's been, what, six years ago now? Some of the more valuable trainer cards were six to ten dollars for just one usually i'd have four in a deck and that would add up very quickly nowadays you can get some of the more competitive trainer cards for less than a dollar second pack of five starts with tangela pawniard snow runt panjam shinx darkness type energy luxio electric rescue carrier Reverse Solo, nice, a Manaphy. This is a Galarian Gallery subset card. Of course, these come in that Reverse Solo spot. I don't believe I pulled this one from a pack before. GG06 of GG70 would be the card number at the bottom left. And then the final card would be a Luxray. That really is the hope from five packs. You're sort of right on the edge of getting two good pulls. Usually it's one in three gets you something good. But if I just pull that one Glaring Gallery card, I'll still be happy with the tin. I've been seeing a lot of average pulls from these Crown Zenith tins when I've watched openings online or, or read what people have told me about what their pulls have been like. All it takes is that one pack to really get something good. Pokeball starts this one. Scyther. Starly. Riolu. Aeron. Grass-type Energy. Ultra Ball, Electric, Lost Vacuum, Reverse Solo, a Pawniard, a Common, and the final card would be a Stoutland. So one of 17 different Pokemon V available in this set. There's not really any Pokemon V that is really that competitive to pull from this particular set, unfortunately, and that's really reflected in the values for the cards. Second to last pack now. I do miss seeing the yellow borders like English cards have been since base set was released back in 1999. Of course, Scarlet and Violet going to the silver borders. More reverse hollows and hollows in the pack. Actually, two reverse hollows potentially, usually I should say. And then no longer having rare non hollows, just going to rare hollows. A Larvesta starts the second to last pack. Shinx, Whalmer. Galarian Meowth, Baltoy, Grass-type Energy, Great Ball, Graveler, Rare Candy, right away to jump over that middle evolution, Reverse Hall of a Dusclops, an Uncommon, Rare Two Eyes, and the final card to be a Tapu Lele. Of course, Tapu Lele GX, speaking about when I first started getting into the TCG competitively, Guardians Rising, Tapu Lele GX, you put it down, its ability allowing you to search your deck for a supporter card and put it into your hand. At that time, you usually either look for, what was it? Is it Cynthia or Guzma were the big two, I believe. It's been a few years since 2017, going on six years. And I really just wish I would have played a lot longer than that but unfortunately i live in a fairly small town so there wasn't any leagues around the closest leagues over an hour away which adds up if you have to go back and forth all the time final pack in this tin it starts with emolga energy retrieval execute cherubi young goose psychic type energy matang energy switch trekking shoes Reverse Hollow, nice, a Swell Blue, so second Galarian Gallery subset card. And the final card would be a Tauros. So give me a moment and I will summarize all of my good pulls. Another average tin from this set of tins. From five total booster packs, I was able to pull out a Rare Hollow and Tapu Lele. I do like the Hollow Foil pattern on this card. A Pokemon V and Stoutland. And then two Galarian Gallery cards, like I talked about in the introduction. I'm having a hard time pulling out the V and V Star Galarian Gallery cards, but these essentially just regular subset cards I've been pulling a lot of. The Swab Blue here, and then the second one would be the Manaphy, and I do like Manaphy quite well. So that will conclude this video. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already, and then leave a like. I do have two other ways to help support my channel. You can find those in the description of this video. I have a book out there, Pokemon Cards, the Unofficial Ultimate Collector's Guide, and then, of course, my Patreon account if you would like to support me there. So thank you everyone for watching. Happy Pokemon card collecting, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.